Unit 2 Travel Every year, thousands of people move to Canada. Meet Ari and Sarah. They are shortly on their way to Canada where they will resettle. They were asked how they think their lives will change with this move. Each expressed having hopes and fears about their lives in Canada. Ari is 24 years old. He fled his country before he was able to complete his studies. For the past three years, he has been on his own living outside of his country as a refugee. When he was accepted for resettlement to Canada, he made the following list. His hopes are to improve his English or French skills, to live in a safe and secure country, and to continue his studies and find a job to support himself. His fears are being alone in Canada, facing the long, cold winters, and that his previous studies will not be recognized in Canada, and he will need to start over. Sada is 45 years old. Her partner died. She has been living in a refugee camp for the past 15 years and has no formal education. She is moving to Canada with her two children. Sada also has hopes and fears about her new life in Canada. When she was accepted for resettlement, she made the following list. Her hopes are to have a better future for her and her children, to live in a peaceful place, and to be welcomed into her new community and make friends. Her fears are having difficulty communicating in English or French, being very far from her home country and her relatives, and raising her children in a new culture. It is normal to have mixed feelings about moving to Canada. Regardless of the resettlement program, all permanent residents who resettle as refugees to Canada have access to free, in-person, and online services to help prepare for life in Canada before arrival. What are your hopes and fears about moving to Canada?